Soda packaging is constantly changing. There are many trends that have come and gone and some that are changing with the times just to satisfy consumer needs and demands. Even the way soda has been packaged has changed over the years. The legal rules and accessibilities have changed to adapt to growing consumer needs. Here in this video, we will give you a glimpse into the world of soda. There are three current trends in soda packaging. One trend is the downsizing of soda cans and bottles. According to Coca-Cola and Pepsi, they have noticed a great decline in their sales for beverages in a larger packaging. Selling smaller packages saw an increase in both companies' profits since customers buy many sodas for a higher price in exchange for the convenience in carrying smaller packages. Downsizing also relates to a consumer's desire to lessen their sugar intake. Another trend in the soda packaging industry is the use of see-through packages. More soft drinks are being sold in clear packaging like plastic and glass. This gives consumers the ability to see what they are deciding to buy. Another trend is the use of PET cans and bottles. This has been in use for decades due to its recyclability. It is even more convenient that PET enables resealability. After doing primary research at the grocery store, we discovered that the three main substrates used for packaging soda are soda lime glass, plastics, and aluminum. Soda lime glass is one of the most common types of glass being used for food packaging today. It also has other applications, like for beakers used in chemistry labs and windows. It's composed of 60-75% to silica, which is sand, 18% soda ash, and 5-12% lime. These ingredients are combined, heated, formed, and cooled to form the final glass shape used for packaging. The advantages of using glass as a substrate for packaging soda is that it's relatively inexpensive to produce, it's highly recyclable, it's non-porous and impermeable, which means it won't affect the taste of the soda, and has high strength. That means it maintains its shape, and it's good for storing, which is especially important because soda is usually stored in warehouses and on retailers' shelf for long periods of time. Although there are many advantages to using glass for soda, there are also drawbacks of it. There are some qualities of glass that turns manufacturers away from producing more of them or consumers from purchasing them more often. These include, it's that it's easily breakable, which also means there's potential for injury, it's heavy to carry around, which is very inconvenient for consumers. And there are high energy costs associated with it to manufacture. New, new Technologies in Glass was found by a company called Aburissa Technologies, and they're able to manufacture glass with a variety of characteristics that include clear and tinted, which gives high light transmission, gray glass, which restricts light transmission, and anti-glare, which reduces glare. Another common substrate used for soda packaging is plastic. It's made from petroleum, and there are two categories of plastic used for beverage packaging. There are thicker HDPE bottles, which are mainly used for juice containers, and there are thinner PET bottles, which are mainly used for soda and water containers. The advantages of using plastic as a substrate for soda is that it can be made into other products after recycling, like for clothing and sleeping bags. It's also lightweight, which is convenient for the consumer and saves shipping costs, and requires less energy to recycle compared to glass. Again, there are also disadvantages of using plastic. It's non-biodegradable, which takes 700 years to decompose. It easily distorts, which may be a problem when on shelf. It's permeable, which means oxygen can flow both in and out of the bottle easily. It contains a harmful chemical called BPA that has been linked to many health problems. And it also contains phthalates that are added to PVC plastics to make them more flexible. This is also linked to health-related diseases. 
A new technology in plastics was found by a team of people at the Institute for Electrical Engineering and Plasma Technology in Germany, and they discover a plasma-based coating process that coats the plastic with layers that make it less permeable. This increases shelf life. Lastly, aluminum. At first, tin cans were used for soda packaging, but because of the pressure caused by the carbonation in soda, it required more metal to be used in can production. Shelf life of soda was also reduced since the carbonation in it ate away the tin. Later in 1964, two pieces of aluminum cans were widely used in the soft drink industry to help solve these issues. The advantages of using aluminum as a substrate for soda is that it's highly abundant. It's the third most abundant element on earth. It's also highly recyclable, it's lightweight, it's strong, it does not rust, and has great barrier against oxygen, light, and moisture. The drawbacks of using aluminum as a substrate for soda packaging is that it contains BPA. As mentioned before, BPA is a toxic chemical in plastics that can cause serious health problems. Aluminum cans are usually lined on the inside with a thin coating of plastic that helps prevent the aluminum from leaking into the beverage. Another drawback is that it can possibly cause injury when not opened properly. Over the years, aluminum can manufacturing technology is gradually progressing. Producers of aluminum soda packaging are slowly reducing the weight of the cans. When aluminum cans were first introduced, they weighed about 3 ounces per unit. Now, they are reduced to less than half an ounce per unit. As with any other packages, there must be legal and accessibility considerations. The Nutrition Facts Panel must be included to inform consumers what ingredients are in the product as well as how much of it is included. Defects of any kind have to be reported as a failure to warn can be dangerous for consumers and cost a lot of money to remedy. A defect can include a broken tab where once you pull the tab open it falls into the drink or it can be a misprinting of the product. Some accessibility considerations should be that some consumers can find it difficult to open the metal tab on the aluminum cans. There is also a risk of the tab breaking and falling into the drink and potentially causing harm to the consumer, as well as preventing them from being able to consume the drink. We decided to focus on the aluminum cans to innovate on. There are many smaller companies trying to redesign the aluminum can by means of addressing the non-refillableness of a can of soda. A company, SmartTab, came up with the idea of adding a plastic tab to the can. However, the tab cannot be removed afterwards and so then the can could not be entirely recyclable. Another company, Boha GmbH, proposed a plastic seal that could be created by means of injection molding. However, they haven't yet been able to create a proper means of operation for this invention, so it is still a prototype in the making. The soda seal, designed by Johan de Breuer, is a swivel tab mechanism that allows for resealing. However, it is a very complicated design that would require many additional layers of metal to work and will greatly increase the cost of production. I would like to introduce to you the new Hop Tab, the new technology in resealable aluminum cans. Have you ever been to a party or even being out with your friends? and you put your soda can down amongst the others and you suddenly can't remember which one is yours? Well, with the new color system that comes on specially packed cans, you can easily detect which drink is yours. After opening, just simply rotate the tab to the color of your choice. The tab opens counterclockwise, so all colors can be accessed. With the new color coding system, you'll never drink someone else's can again. As seen in the animation, the pop tab can be easily removed when the drink is finished. All one has to do is simply turn the tab to a horizontal position and pull
pull it as if one was opening a traditional metal tab.